In the following example, we're asked to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept for the line that is on our graph. So, in order to do this, we must realize what x-intercept and y-intercept refer to. The x-intercept refers to the point at which the line crosses the x-axis. So, the x-axis is the line that runs horizontally. So, here's the x-axis. Now, we notice the point at which the line crosses the x-axis as this point right here. And that happens to be the point negative 3, 0. Okay. Now, the next part is asking us to identify the y-intercept. So, we look and see that the y-intercept is the point at which our line crosses the y-axis. And we see that that happens at the following point, 0, negative 2. So, now we know the x-intercept and the y-intercept. But it is also important to note that at the x-intercept, y will always be 0. And at the y-intercept, x will always be 0. So we will use this later on in a strategy for finding the x-intercepts and y-intercepts when we're given the equation of the line. So just note for this example that at the x-intercept, y is 0, and at the y-intercept, x is 0.